Here we are working with a cup that's on heater. On some of these heaters, you may run into an issue where your control board does not display properly. That can be an issue of the control board itself malfunctioning, or it can be damaged uh, wires at the transformer connection. So what we're going to do is gently, more gently than I am, set the unit so that the control board is not being pushed on, and then we're simply going to remove four screws from the unit. This helps to have a magnetic Phillips screwdriver, otherwise getting the screws out is a little more fun. So we have these top two screws and then two bottom screws, one down there where the power wire comes in, the other directly on the opposite side of the unit. Now at this point in time, you have to make sure that you detach the thermostat wire and partially feed it through its hole. If you do not, you can end up pulling on the wire and damaging the unit. Now, all you have to do is simply lift the back panel off, set it aside, and at this point in time, you should have a view down to the transformer wires. As always, whenever you're working with any electrical device, be sure it is unplugged before servicing the unit. The connections we are looking at come directly from the power cord that plugs into the wall outlet. Now, you're looking for blackened or discolored um, wires. You can see the two wire connectors. Any failure in the wire connections um, can cause the PCB to act radically. If you see any discolored or blackened wires, there's an indication that the connections have failed and they need to be repaired. You will want to locate a qualified service professional to repair the unit. They will need to cut the wire tie and then strip the wires back to a point where they are no longer damaged and then reconnect them with new wire connectors or wire nuts. At that point in time, they will put everything back together. Now, if you've checked out the unit and there does not appear to be any damage at the wire connections, do a quick survey of any of the other connections in the unit. Any loose connections can cause a heater to act erratically. Once you've determined that everything with your unit is fine as far as the transformer goes, then you could put the back panel back in place. There's really not much special to it, outside of keeping in mind that you will want to make sure to thread the thermostat wire through this little hole in the back of the unit. Once you start that and you have a hold of it, Simply replace the back panel in the same steps you took it apart, simply in reverse.